being here, and I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about songs about cheese. Um, it actually came to me in my sleep. In my dream, I was sitting in a small concert venue, not unlike this one, and the lights went dim, and Gook uh, started to play, first with percussive chords from the piano, and uh, then joined by trills and the violin and bass clarinet, punctuated by uh, accented uh, pizzicato from the cello. And then the vocalist sang, pierced with needles and left in a cave. I thought to myself, he's singing about Roquefort cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and as they played on, it occurred to me, that's my music. I wrote that, and I stood up, I looked around, I said, stop, stop, that's my music. I wrote that, and I'm not credited in the program. <laughs> um, well, this, uh, this music uh, seems like it was meant to be. I'm a lifelong cheese lover. And actually, when I was in seventh grade, I even had an exotic cheese fan club. Uh, of course, I was Mr. Popularity. <laughs> but, um, Yeah, the kids, they would uh, pay a dollar every second Tuesday of the month for the privilege of sampling a different exotic cheese at my lunch table. <laughs> uh, but uh, this music, it, it runs the gamut of motion from uh, despair to euphoria. And uh, it employs compositional devices from complex polychords and layered rhythms to polka. And uh, believe it or not, cheese is actually a very, very good uh, vehicle for expression. And that being said, there are songs about cheese, so don't, don't uh, feel awkward about laughing. <laughs> Thank you very much.